Europe's biggest trade show, IFA, sometimes we call it IFA, is right around the corner. And if history is any indication, we're about to see some seriously awesome tech. We've been keeping our ears to the ground and have a pretty good feel for what's coming. But for a deeper dive, we spoke with Jens Heitheker, IFA's executive director, to learn how he feels IFA is different and what he knows about what to expect from this year's show. We asked him what he thinks the big difference between CES and IFA is, and he says that he sees both as very important global shows, but each has a different focus. While he sees CES as focused on the electronics industry and the car industry, and as a vital communication platform, IFA serves a different role. Our focus is consumer electronics, home appliances, the connected life of the consumers. Uh, IFA attracts more international retailers, more international trade visitors. Um, we have more than 70,000 international trade visitors, visitors among 145,000 trade visitors and we don't include in our numbers exhibitor staff. So basically, not only will we be seeing a lot of cool gear, a lot of money is going to be trading hands. In fact, in 2016, over 4.5 billion euros changed hands. But it's not all business. IFA, unlike CES, is open to the public. We have 100,000 public visitors and that's the huge difference. We invite the consumer to take part of the show, to, to enjoy the new products, the innovation. But aside from being a big show with a huge attendance, IFA tends to be a place where we see a lot of firsts and Heitherker recalls some pretty incredible ones. Remarkable moments in history like the keynote speech of Albert Einstein in the 30s here in Berlin at the opening of one of these radio shows. And maybe this is the best example, MP3, this revolutionary technology for music on the internet, was invented and first presented here in IFA before it was spreading out in the world and revolutionizing so many industries uh, with, uh, with fascinating, fascinating effects. Yeah, pretty groundbreaking. That made us wonder if we could expect something similarly groundbreaking this year. You will see two technologies on the main stage with the most important effects for the industries and the products itself. The one is artificial intelligence. That's the backbone in technology for so many devices in the future. Not talking only about the, the voice recognition, talk, we're talking too about interconnectivity because we have more, much more devices than human beings on the earth. And imagine you have to bring together every device by your own hands. It's impossible, you need artificial intelligence for this. And the other side will be voice recognitions. Voice recognition not only as part of loudspeakers, it will be integrated as technology in TV sets, for example, or in washing machines, uh, bringing in a much easier user interface you don't have to scroll through menus for special orders. It will be much easier in the future. And we totally agree. And we think there will be a lot more. First, 8K TV. Yes, there will be 8K TVs, and we do think this is the year we'll be told we can buy them. Don't scoff just yet. We actually have some pretty convincing arguments in favor of 8K TVs, and we'll be talking all about it at the show. Second, robots, and lots of them. We've seen robot vacuums aplenty in years past, but I think we're gonna see even more of them this year. The term wearable robotics is floating around, and this might just be the year we see it in action. Third, phones. We won't see a ton of new phones at the show, but there are likely to be a couple worth noting. We saw the first truly waterproof phone at IFA a few years back, and it made quite the uh, splash. Sorry, but yeah, for real, phones. Next, AI. As Jen said, this is going to be more than a theme. It will be a common thread woven through all kinds of technology, especially appliances. We're hoping this is the year artificial intelligence becomes intelligent enough that it will learn us rather than the other way around. Bring us our Jetson-style robot mate, please. And what about computing? We don't actually expect anything revolutionary on the computing front this year, but we'd love to be proven wrong. Right now, we think laptops will see some small upgrades and eh, that's really about it. And finally, the big one, voice control. Just as Jen said, it's going to be in everything and we couldn't agree more. How helpful is it actually gonna be though? That's what we're eager to find out. That's our rundown on what to expect from IFA. Visit Digital Trends starting Wednesday, August 29, when the big news starts to drop. We'll be on the ground and bringing you up close with the best analysis and insight. We'll see you then.